I had more money than Ma. Matthews was the number one. He would have ruled the United States. Frank Matthews was a much larger drug dealer than Frank Lucas. He's literally fallen off the face of the earth. We were hustling and trying to make a living here in Durham. I was working at a supermarket. Uh, he was working over in North Durham. Received a call down to the old Foreign Exchange Poultry Department. Saw a young black male running through the woods behind some houses. We arrested him for stealing chickens that day. All of us were trying to make a nickel and a dime to keep ourselves going. When the cold wind come, it lived in New York City. In the 1970s, uh, we had a heroin problem in the country, definitely in New York City. A river of money is flowing because business is so good. It was a gangster town, you know, nobody wanted to go to New York City. It would have evolved here, he took over. He was a guy that had great leadership skills and knew how to control a product, make distribution all along the East Coast and control an organization through violence and intimidation. A state senator from uh, Baltimore and Frank had him killed. And he had been identified as a, one of the largest, if not the largest, heroin trafficker in the United States. I supplied all of Baltimore, though. Baltimore alone, on millions. Yeah, giving a million dollars to a friend to hold. And he said, Frank, when you gonna come get that money? He said, I'll come get it in a week or so. So, how much money does he have? He put four million dollars on the table. And he says, let me see if you can match this. A lot of people uh, looked up to Frank for probably all the wrong reasons. Listen, you could pick any car you want in the driveway. He said, you could pick one of my cars. In that sense, he was very nice to me. Even though what he was doing was wrong, you know, he made it possible for a lot of people to have a lot of things. And if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have finished my last year of law school. Frank was a Robin Hood. They really believed in this guy. And he hated the Italians because they hated the blacks. And his goal was to unite and form a family where they cut out the Italian mafia. Castellano and certainly Three Fingers Brown uh, would have wanted him killed. We never had a solid lead on Frank Matthews. We felt like he had disappeared off the face of the earth. So he had $15 million in six months head start. The way he lost himself was he cut all ties with everybody he knew. He done like that. I mean, people speculate, plastic surgery. All of the agents who work on the case to this day believe he's still alive. I don't see how he could be alive. He's alive, and that's it. <laughs>